I'm Jay Stephanie. I'm a partner here at Levinson and Stephanie. We handle car crash cases primarily, and because of that, we tend to see a lot of the terrible effects of car crashes. Uh, so one of the things I want to talk about today was child seats and booster seats. Now, in another video, I talked about what the laws are here in Illinois in terms of children under the age of eight being required to be in either a child seat or a booster seat. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about first is how to choose a child seat. That's one of the important ones. And new parents, that's always a big thing is you want to make sure always, you know, precious cargo, that your child is in the safest seat possible. One important thing to remember, an expensive car seat doesn't necessarily mean that it is a safe car seat for your child. Uh, take a look at ratings. The biggest things you want to be looking at are the height and weight limitations appropriate for your child? Is the child seat, does it fit well into your car? And do you have the child seat installed correctly? Now that last one in terms of having the child seat installed correctly is one of the most important aspects. Now, in order to make sure it's installed correctly, one of the things you should certainly do is look at the instructions and the manual for the child seat. I know a lot of people are reluctant to do that, they figure, oh, this is easy, I can figure this out. Also take a look, oftentimes a car's user manual will have its own instructions and sometimes tips to make it, frankly, easier to install the child seat in your car. No matter what though, and I strongly urge this, especially for new parents, install the car seat the best you can before you go to the hospital to bring your newborn home and take it to a local fire department or police department. They're trained in how to do this, and it's a great way to just double check to make sure you have it in there correctly, and they can also give you great tips to make sure that it's in there correctly, how to make sure it's in there correctly, so that you, as the parent, can make sure other caregivers, grandparents, aunts, uncles, babysitters, are installing their child seats for your kids in their car correctly. Uh, in terms of uh, rear facing, uh, the American Academy of Pediatrics strongly recommends that children be rear facing in their child seats at least up until the age of two or until they hit the maximum height or weight for that specific child seat. Uh, as a parent of two kids that are have always been all tall for their age, I know sometimes as they're getting close to two, even once they hit two, they're sort of back there and their legs might be bent a little bit up on the seat just because of the space. Still, you'd rather, if it worst case scenario you get into a crash, you'd rather have your child have an injured leg than something much worse. So really try and stick with that. It's really in the best uh, interest for you and your child. Uh, lastly, when it comes to booster seats, um, the again, the AAP, the American Academy of Pediatrics, recommends ideally that if a child sitting without a booster seat in the car, the lap belt and the shoulder belt should hit the child where it would hit an adult. If it is too high and doesn't hit them correctly, the child really should be in a booster seat. Now. Again, in Illinois, the law is they have to be in a child seat or a booster seat at least until the age of eight. Now, given the size that I just mentioned, it's possible your kid could be in a booster seat up until the age of 12, and you might be reaching and <laughs> getting some, some, uh, some pushback and resistance to that. But again, the most important thing when your kid is in the car is that he or she is safe. If you have any other questions or want to look for more information in terms of choosing a child safety seat or booster seat or installation tips, the American Academy of Pediatrics has a great website at www.healthychildren.org. Uh, I urge you to check that out. Uh, it has some great additional tips. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks.